The positive folks, the purely positive folks, they can get mad at it all they want. They don't work with dogs like this. Oh, it's alpha, oh, it's dominant. Call it whatever you want. I really don't care. It works, they don't work with it, so they need to keep their mouth shut. This is Dora. Dora has been here one week. She has a bite history with people and with dogs. We've been working on her with our trainers. She's good with everybody now. That's a big deal, meeting a bunch of people. Then when these bite history dogs go home, they never meet new people. Now they met five new people. Now it's on to meeting of clients and brand new people, okay? But those five people, those five trainers are a big deal, males and females. She has a bite history with dogs. You're gonna see her first meeting with other dogs. Now I want to explain to you our system for reactive and aggressive dogs meeting other dogs. The system is they meet dogs through fences in different situations. So from our pool to up there, from the side area to out here, from the pasture to the dogs on the other side of the gates. They meet dogs through all those situations until they're good with those dogs. Then when they can show that they like other dogs, then we start to either use a muzzle or a leash and they start to meet other dogs. But they're not gonna meet another dog and your dog should not meet other dogs until they can be good through crates or through side gates. I'm not talking screen doors. Glass screen doors don't matter. They need to be able to touch the dog and smell the dog. So they have to kind of earn their way to the next. It's the same thing you see during my private sessions, right? If they go at prints, I'm not gonna let them both off leash out here. I'm gonna use a muzzle or a leash or something, or maybe they don't even get to meet prints. So you're gonna see Dora meet prints for the first time. She's gotten so good with us and good with the dogs through fences and gates and whatnot that we're just gonna let prints in here. She has latched on to a dog and one person, although it was kind of a funky situation with the person. It, the dog, she was scared with the person, but K Wade, let prints up top. So what you guys want to do is take this information and figure out how to use it in your own life. A lot of people send me dogs or do phone sessions and their dogs, their two dogs started to fight or they just moved in with their boyfriend and the dogs don't like each other or they want their best friend to come over with their dog. Well, you're going to, you're going to do a mini, you're going to take what I do in like a week or a couple days and you're going to boil it down to an hour. Okay. So here's Prince. Dora, you're gonna go see your friend? Let's analyze her be let's analyze her behavior with Prince. And you guys tell me if you think she's ready to meet Prince. She looks perfect, right? Does that mean she's gonna be perfect? It it actually doesn't. Not with Dora. She can kind of change a little bit, switch a little bit. But you know, he's the dog to meet. He's a likable dog. He's a big dog. She went after, I think, a French bulldog. Okay and go ahead and let Prince in. And you guys are gonna watch this. Yeah, there's your buddy. Look, Princey. So they've met, they have met. They have met through fences many times. Now they're gonna meet, they're gonna really meet. And they don't care. This is actually what happens when they are friends, they just haven't been together. They've met through gates and whatnot. Now they're just like, okay, no big deal. That's what you want. You guys with your aggressive dogs, you have to do that pre pre preliminary work of, of them, the dogs being together, but not being together. I'll say that again. They need to be together, but not together. It's big, it's huge. And it takes as long as it takes. If the two dogs are, fighting, one dog's in a crate, your new boyfriend's dog is out of the crate and they're running up to each other or mean mugging each other or looking at each other. They're not ready to be together. Prince, come on, let's do this. Good boy. Dora, there's your friend. Do you care? No one cares. Nobody cares about each other. Okay, off leash. Yeah. She doesn't like over top, like people going over top. Probably doesn't like dogs going over top. Like if Prince tries to put his neck, that's over the top. Okay. 
You gotta be careful. Good, but they, get, they look great, they look fine. Okay, so the process, you guys. Why is a dog with bite history, why are we able to put her with another dog? Not that this is great, you're not seeing anything bad. But she, the owners are gonna see this, right? If I were to not tell the truth about her, you'd hear about it in the comments. She has a bite history with other dogs. So what are you gonna do at home? You're gonna put the dogs, you're gonna have them meet through fences for as long as it takes until they're play bowing, until they're friends. Then you're gonna either put a leash on or a muzzle on and you're gonna let them be together. Then eventually you're gonna fade off of all of that stuff and the dogs are just gonna be together. But mom or dad is the boss of everything, okay? So if, if they're in a crate and the other dog is and they're meeting in a crate and they look at each other wrong, you're gonna clap and you're gonna go, hey, and you're gonna go grab the aggressor. And you're gonna put him in a sit, stay, then you're gonna release him. Go get mad at that dog again through the crate. I don't really care. Hey, and you're gonna grab him, bring him over here, sit. And then you, eventually they're gonna walk up to the crate and they're gonna go, boy, I don't like that dog in the crate. And they're gonna go, wait, 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 what's the mean lady doing? That's it. I am actually explaining to you here, watch these two. I am explaining to you the process that I use that has gotten so popular over the last couple years or last five years of my process being somewhat unique. I, that's it. You want it in a nutshell? That's it. You mark the behavior, you grab the dog, you apply a correction or your energy in your arm, they feel your strength, you tell them sit down, and then you let them do it again, right? That's why you guys like, we'll do this all day. Go be, mad, go, go be mean to that dog again. Now, in this scenario, off leash, no muzzles, is there a go get it, mad at that dog again? No, this is unsafe if these two aren't good together. Or on a leash, you wanna lunge? Go lunge, I don't really care. You're gonna get a correction for lunging. Okay, through a, through a crate, mark the behavior, yell, grab, bring them over here sit them down, and then eventually, this is, this is important. What you wanna see is the dog go, I don't like that dog, but where's that lady? If that's when you know you're getting to something. If the dog just goes, yeah, in front of mom, I'm just gonna roll up to that dog in that crate. Now, why am I mentioning the crate thing? Because this video is about how to slowly get dogs together. This is not leash reactivity. This is not human aggression we're talking about. This is your girlfriend's dog, you guys just moved in together. You're moving back to your parents' house, you're bringing your dog. Some home environment where you're trying to get dogs together in a way that this is a home environment trying to get dogs together. So fences have to be involved. Dogs don't get hurt through fences. And you can do this over and over and over again. All right, then eventually the dog goes, there's that dog. Oh, wait, 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 wait. where's the lady who comes in and gets me? Dude, that's, that's what you want. That's all you want. You're not gonna necessarily change whether they love that dog or hate that dog. You can a bit, but what you can change is I don't like that dog, but I'm not messing around in, in front of this lady. That you can change all day. That is why dogs do not fight at this facility in front of me once they get to know me because I'm not messing around. I don't know how else to say it. The positive folks, the purely positive folks, they can get mad at it all they want. They don't work with dogs like this, okay? So, oh, it's alpha, oh, it's dominant. Call it whatever you want. I really don't care. It works, they don't work with it, so they need to keep their mouth shut because they don't know what they're doing. All right, that's it. Dora with her friend, Never played really, was into him, not really into him, but it's fine. Dog who's latched onto other dogs with her friend, making friends. How are you gonna do that in your own life? I just told you, all right? Guys, ask any questions. I will try to get to them in the comments. That's the video.